Recently I've had a lot of requests for this recipe and to be honest I've never tried it before. It never really occurred to me that you could do this particular recipe in a slow cooker but I did a bit of research and I came up with my own special recipe and it's absolutely delicious. Let's make this beautiful slow cooker lasagna on the One Pot Chef. First things first, we're going to start on our cheese mixture. So into a big bowl, I've got two 500 gram packs of ricotta cheese, about four or five cups roughly. To that I'm going to add in two cups of grated or shredded mozzarella cheese, one cup of finely grated fresh parmesan cheese, 250 grams of chopped spinach. Now I'm using the frozen stuff today because I always keep frozen spinach in the freezer. You can use fresh but basically all I did was I defrosted it, gave it a gentle squeeze with my hands to get rid of any excess liquid and it's ready to go. And a 30 gram sachet of dried vegetable soup mix. Season with a little bit of pepper and just stir that together to combine. That's looking good and that is literally the most complicated part of this recipe. Just that bit of mixing. Now we can start assembling our lasagna. So we've got our slow cooker and we're ready to start assembling. We're going to start with our pasta sauce. I've got two 500 gram jars of pasta sauce. You can use any tomato pasta sauce you like. And I'm just going to add just enough to cover the base there like that. Next we're going to add in some lasagna pasta sheets or pasta noodles or lasagna noodles, whatever they're called in your part of the world. Now obviously they don't come round, so what we're doing is we're just going to break up a couple of sheets and just use them to fill in the gaps where you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, so don't worry about it being having a few little gaps there, it won't be a problem. Another layer of the pasta sauce. Add in half of the ricotta mixture, another layer of pasta, a little bit more sauce, the other half of the ricotta mixture, another layer of lasagna sheets, bit more sauce, and one last layer of lasagna. And the remaining pasta sauce on top. Just make sure everything's nice and covered. Now this is ready to start. What we're going to do is put the lid on and we're going to cook this on low for about five to six hours or until all the pasta is nicely cooked and then we'll be ready to continue. While this is cooking away I thought I'd just point out that this is a very basic version of lasagna and you can adapt this very easily to change taste up. If you wanted to make a meaty lasagna you just brown a bit of beef in the pan, some ground beef or minced beef and then simply mix in the tomato sauce and spoon that in on the layers. You can change the cheeses to suit your personal taste. You can leave the spinach out or replace it with grated um, zucchini. You could use grated carrot. You could layer in some sun-dried tomatoes, some roasted capsicum. There are so many options. You can change this up however you like. It's been six hours, so let's take a look. Oh, wow. You can see that the pasta has sucked up all that excess moisture from the sauces and the cheese. So all we need to do is just put a final little sprinkling of cheese over the top, put the lid back on and we're just going to allow this to stand for about 10 minutes or until the cheese is nice and melted. And there we have it, a delicious lasagna cooked in a slow cooker, absolutely fantastic and so simple to prepare. I can't wait to give this a try. This is piping hot and fresh out of the slow cooker. I sort of, you can cut it into wedges or just scoop it out with a spoon. I don't think you have to be terribly precious about this. All right, time for a taste. Mmm. Oh wow, that's amazing. Mmm. <laughs> okay, bursting with flavour. If you love your cheese, you're going to love this. You can taste the spinach. You can taste the sauce. The pasta is beautiful and tender. It's not sort of claggy or anything like that. It's really, really good. And really, how simple was this? This was actually simpler to make than a standard lasagna. And of course, you can adapt it to suit your own personal taste. You could add meat if you wanted to. Absolutely fantastic. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at OnePotChefShow.com. And of course, check me out on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, see you later. 
I'm probably not going to win any Instagram awards for this particular shot, but I have got to tell you, this is absolutely one of the most delicious slow-cooked meals I've ever made. It may not be totally pretty, but it is absolutely delicious.